Okay, so to start hacking Radiant Dawn, what you're going to need is first up Dolphin and Nightmare. You're also going to need Bash, LZ77, and Wee Scrubber, which I will have in the description. And you'll also need Nightmare Modules, which you can get from FU Shrine, but they aren't named, and I painstakingly went through and named these, so, for pe people's convenience, so. The first thing you're going to need is, is FU10 base, which there's two ways you can get this. The first one is to just go through here, through the properties, file system, and or FE 10 data, sorry, and extract file like like so. So I'll just extract it my desktop like this, and here we have a data. The other way you can do it is through Wee Scrubber. The first thing when you download Wee Scrubber you're gonna need to do make key bin before you run it. But I've already done that, so the way so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ISO the other way to do this is to just load your ISO in here like this. Wait a minute. I have it on true show because it's um worked for me. And then you just do the same thing here. Now you can extract and replace is gonna be important later, but since we've already gotten the data thing, I'll just not do this for now. So next thing we're going to do is basically this file needs to be compressed in order for it to work with the ISO and it needs to be decompressed in order to edit it with Nightmare. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open this program to do just that. So what we're going to do is we are going to decompress this. And here we have our decompressed file. So now we can just go into Nightmare, open this file, not the ISO. You need to do that. So the decompressed file, and then we can open our FE10 modules. So for for this particular scenario, I'm just gonna change the caps of Makaya's class. So for example, we're just gonna make it our math max strength 50. And the other thing to new, note is that you have to hit apply changes in order for this to save. Because for example, if I do this, it didn't save. But if I do this, it did save. Nightmare 101. Now I can save the ROM and that option there has been saved. You also have several modules if you want to, and you can unload it if you want to do several of these at the time. Now, that's all I'm gonna do as an example. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take this file that we have now edited, take it in batch LZ77, compress, takes a lot longer, any minute now. And there we go. So now this file, so now, one thing to note here is that I would take, um, well this file you don't really need necessarily, but to cut this process in half whenever you want to do this slot, I would recommend just taking your freshly decompressed file and placing it with your um, fresh ROMs, just so that you can like do this process and not have to do the first part of it all the time. So now what we got to do is we got to take our um, decompressed then compressed file, which it'll be named like this, and we're going to go into Wee Scrubber, load our ISO that we're going to modify this with, which will be, um, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to do this first round here. It's going to load. And then we are going to go to partition one down here to FE10 data. And then we're going to replace with our newly made file. It's going to replace. Successfully replaced. Now it's going to parse, which basically means that you have to wait until the partition things show here. So it's done now. Now we can exit. And now this ROM right here is now hacked with um, our 50 strength cap on tier 1 Micaiah. 
And um, the other thing to know is that nightmare mod, the nightmare modules function pretty much the same as uh, GBA. So now, and also make sure that you open the right ROM. So I'm just going to take this one and do it like that. Um, I'm actually going to change the audio. Oh, okay, good. Just quickly start a new game on normal mode. And as you can see, she now has a 50 strength gap. Now, the nightmare modules don't allow you to do much necessarily, but that is basically how Radiant Dawn hacking works. And you will have to do that process every time you want to change that file. So in a sense, you want to have this decompressed file is effectively your hack. And you can modify it as much as you want, you can modify it a few times at a time, and then put it into the ROM to test it, and do that several times over. So that's basically how this works. And that's basically the end of this tutorial.